Okay. Thank you for being here, Danny J. Can you tell everyone your full name and how do you help your clients? Oh my gosh. Hi, my name is Danny J. My last name is Johnson. J stands for Johnson. Um, it's funny. I actually, that is, uh, somebody's always like, what does J stand for? I'm like Johnson. So what's Danny J Johnson? Yeah whatever. I don't use my last name that much. Um, so I am a speaker and I actually am a coach as well. And how I help my clients is to help them get uh, breakthrough clarity issues. I mostly work with women who are either entrepreneurs wanting to start businesses in a life change. So maybe they are uh, like, they got married, got a job, did all the things, got in a career. And then they started going, I don't know if this is all there is. Maybe there's something more for me or maybe someone going through a divorce and their whole life has changed overnight or going through just a big life change, you know, divorce, death, illness, job and career change. Those are the kind of things I help people navigate, get more clarity on what their new life looks like and how to create their do over and their new life. I love it. Now I was reading your clubhouse bio and your first <laughs> intrigued me. It says, I am a trillionaire who helps trillionaires make trillions. So <laughs> what exactly does that mean? Oh my gosh. So when Clubhouse started, and probably you know this, and if you're on Clubhouse, you know, I started going through bios and everybody just seemed so successful and they were doing these amazing things. And I'm going, wow, I am such a loser. And then I was reading more and more going, you know, I think people are BSing this. So I actually made that everyone was talking about their seven figure businesses and eight figure businesses. And to be honest, personally, there were some people where I'm like, I know you and I've known you for a long time. And I know for certain you've done an eight figure business. So I'm like, I'm just going to take it to the next level and just say, I'm the best of all the best, best. So I'm a trillionaire. And that's where it really came from. I, it was really like tongue in cheek because I felt like people were getting a little out of control with their bios. And I kind of needed to like bring us down a notch. So hopefully people knew that was a joke, although maybe it's not a joke. I don't know. <laughs> it's something you are aiming for. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. It, listen, you make six figures before breakfast. Is that tongue in cheek as well? Or oh, yeah. So the whole first part of the bio is tongue in cheek. You know, there's so many high level coaches out there. And there's a lot of great ones, but I think there's so much smoke and mirrors in this industry. So I love working with high performers. I love people going through stuff, but I know the reality and I've been around so many business owners who, yeah, they make seven figures, but they're also spending seven figures to make that. Like anyone can make a million dollars. If you have a million dollars, you can spend a million on ads to make a million dollars back. And there's so much smoke and mirrors in our industry in uh, personal development and in coaching. And so um, there's a lot of coaches out there that are very hardcore who are like, you have to wake up before 4 a.m. and I get more done by eight than you, you know, you're sleeping your life away. And I'm also one who doesn't believe in, in that. I actually don't wake up until nine o'clock. <laughs> um, I had, you know, I really have a hard time with this one way hardcore, you know, the Grant Cardone kind of thing. And I actually really love Grant. I think he's hysterical, but I think there's so much hustle culture and so much smoke and mirrors. And so I, put all that on there, hoping that people would realize how ridiculous it actually is. Gotcha. Now you co-host the best life podcast and you've reached that pinnacle where most people want a million downloads. Um, yes. How long did it take you to reach that milestone? Yeah, that was really exciting for us. So that's a real thing on the bio. Um, the best life podcast it launched in January, 2018. So three years. And I will tell you where we really started to pick up momentum was the first year, um, my partner and I, we were, we were uh, publishing once a week and that was going all right. We kind of launched it as like, let's see where this goes, but we realized that we did have a great audience. And we talked to these guys who run the podcast, um, mind pump and mind pump was getting like three at the time. This was in 2017. They are sorry, 2018. They were getting around 300,000 downloads a month or something crazy like that. And they told us, you need to go all in, you need to publish more often. And they were publishing four times a week. And so my partner and I were like, that seems like a lot. However, let's try to bump it up. So once we got really serious, we started publishing twice a week consistently that really ramped up our downloads every single month. So we went from making like 10,000 downloads a month to 50, 60 downloads a month, 60,000, sorry. Um, 
And so I think consistency is huge, but also quantity. I would say anyone doing podcasting, uh, quality matters, but I would say quantity almost matters more because we're in the the age of like binge watching, binge listening, people want to hear more content. So if I was going to give any advice on someone trying to reach those kind of milestones, I'd say publish more often. Publish more often. Now, mm -hmm. it's one thing to publish more, but is, is there a tip you can give on how to attract people to your podcast? Is there a, a, a marketing um, thing that you do for your podcast? Gosh, that's one I'm still really working on, to be honest. Um, I was lucky enough that I do have an email list already. I've been working, you know, for the last 10 years, I've been working online. Um, I do have a decent following on social media and Instagram and Facebook, and so does my partner. So we try to reach our audiences that way. Um, we did a lot of giveaways. So that was something I think really helps is at the very beginning, we did, we set a budget, you know, like a couple thousand dollars to do a big giveaway where we asked people to tag people, share, leave a review. So I think incentivizing people to leave reviews, leaving reviews helps um, the algorithm on iTunes. It also helps people know what they're getting into. And it also gives social proof that people are listening to the podcast. So reviews are crucial. So having a really good giveaway really incentivize people to do it. And that's one like kind of hack, I would say, to try to get more people to listen. And then because that's a one-time deal, we try to find other ways to do that more often. So we had like a hundred episode giveaway, and then we did like a year or two years giveaway. So any kind of milestone we could celebrate, we would celebrate that with something that we could get more people to listen and share. So, you know, giving people an action, share, leave a review, tag a friend, all of those things help get it out yeah. more. Awesome. I love that. I love the giveaway. That's a great, great tip. Now, how, when you're on Clubhouse, how do you generate leads by speaking on the Clubhouse stages? Yeah. So in Clubhouse, you know, it's all about getting on the right stages and where your audience is. So you go into the hallway and I'm looking at topics that I think that people would want to be listening who I speak to. So I'm not going into, you know, I, for fun, I'll go into rooms like credit hacking and travel hacking. Cause that's something I'm interested. Um, and then I list, I go and follow all the people who are on the stage, but I'm not the expert in that room. So if I'm trying to find leads, I'm trying to look for rooms where I think I can add something and maybe I can be an expert that way I can raise my hand and get up on the stage and share my expertise and knowledge, and then make sure that my bio, <laughs> even though as silly as it is, make sure my bio is listed ways to contact me are listed like my coach application and my Instagram so people can reach out and find me. And to be honest, the funny kind of thing about that bio is because it's so silly. I do get a lot of people who will just DM me and they're like, I read this. And I thought it was so funny. And they just kind of get it because they've been in the industry and they've seen people and they go, I'm so glad you kind of shone a light on kind of the silliness of it. Gotcha. Now in your bio also, it says that you help women rebuild and restart their financial lives after yes. a collapse. How do you go about doing that? So I have a program called Master Your Money and I love doing money mindset stuff. And so I'm all about the restart, the do-over. And so, like I said, people getting out of careers and a lot of times that has to do with uh, finances. You're starting over with a job or divorce, uh, credit rebuilding. And so I have a nine module course called Master Your Money. Um, it's at findthemoneyproject.com slash MYM. And I have a lot of freebies. I used to, I haven't done it in 2021 yet, but usually twice a year, I do a challenge called Find the Money Project. And I believe there's a spiritual side to money. And I believe in some of the woo-woo manifestation, but I know so many people who have like written a check to the universe and that check ain't been cashed yet. So I'm also like, there's a very practical side to money too. And so we need to actually look at your spending, looking at your bank account. What are you actually doing? Where's the money coming and going? And I'm not like Miss Penny Pincher and like cut all the coupons. I think we should live our lives. Um, I don't, I'm not telling everybody to cut their Starbucks, but if you have a big goals and the Starbucks is impeding that, then you need to ask yourself what is worth more. Like, can you, can you, you know, cut that for a little while and then take it back, give it, get it back later. I mean, I think life is all about sacrifices and deciding what you really want. And so for me, it's about working with women and deciding what do you really want? Let's be intentional. And then how can we make a plan to make that happen? If you're like, I'm not giving up my coffee, then cool. What else can we maybe cut out? That's not that important to you. Or how can we increase your income so that you can have F you money and spend it on whatever you want. And so my goal really is to help people get really intentional. I think with money, 
we see so many things just back to the smoke and mirrors, the boats, the houses, the cars, and we think that's what we should want. But when you get down to the nitty gritty and talk to people, what do they really want? They wish they just had some extra money that they could just buy a nice dress and go on a date night, or they wish they had enough money just to go to Disneyland and not have to worry about with their family. So getting really intentional and deciding what you really want, instead of just buying things, because you think that's what everybody wants to see, like driving Lexus, even though you don't care about cars, it doesn't make sense. So being intentional, sitting down with people and getting practical while also um, knowing that there's action to be taken while you're manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I think forget the action part. Yeah. You- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true. I got a lot of uncashed checks in my drawers from back in the day. <laughs> so what is the women's powerhouse club? Uh, the women's powerhouse club, when I joined face or not face, but when I joined clubhouse, there were just so many women that started meeting in these certain rooms and a girl named Hannah reached out and she said, Hey, I've seen you in a lot of rooms. Would love for you to join this club. And so we basically created a community and a club where we host rooms, um, on different topics during different times of the month. So we can all host different rooms at different times. And it's really about empowering women and empowering women in community, That goes from finances to leadership, to relationships, to motherhood and all kind of spectrum. And so I don't even know how many women are in the group now. Um, When I joined, there was about 30 of us. And so it's really just a place and anyone can join. You got to reach out to Hannah. I can't remember her last name, but if you find the women's powerhouse group in clubhouse, you can find her or DM me and I can pass you on to her on, um, on Instagram, make a connection. Well, thank you so much, Danny J for being with us. Now, where can people find you online? You all, well, you can find me at dannyj.com. It's D-A-N-N-Y like a boy and then the letter J and then I spell out dot D-O-T-C-O-M. So you can find me that like that on Clubhouse, on Instagram, on Facebook, pretty much anywhere. Just Google dannyj.com and you'll, you'll find me. <laughs> thank but you. I, I, Okay. Yeah, I would say I'm on Instagram the most and also the podcast, the Best Life Podcast, twice a week. I'm out there and we have some really great fun content. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in Clubhouse. Thank you. Bye-bye.